Hey, what's going on? It's Jeff at LockdownSecurity.ca, www.LockdownSecurity.ca. And today I'm just making a video on how to wire up a dash camera. Uh, on this particular video, I'm working on a Mazda 3 and I'm going to be making power connections at the vehicle's fuse box. This particular vehicle is a little bit unique in that I'm going to be using what are known as fuse taps. Now we sell these fuse taps in our store, uh, but the ones that I'm uh, showing in this video are for what are known as ATM fuses, otherwise known as mini, or sorry, mini ATM fuses. Uh, this particular vehicle though uses a different variant of mini ATM which I will show you here. I've made a video on this before. So this particular vehicle uses mini ATM fuses that look like this. Uh, now unfortunately the taps that we sell they don't work well with these fuses and the reason being is that the feet coming off the fuses are not long enough. Now we do have taps for this style of fuse. We don't sell them though because they don't work very well they don't provide a good connection so what we do what we prefer to do is we prefer to swap out the standard of fuse for the regular mini atm we notify the customer of the swap so if in the future they ever want to put it back to factory they will have these fuses but we're doing the swap to make this installation as clean and easy as possible as well as as reversible as possible for the customer now what you're seeing these fuses resting on is what's known as a digital multimeter i use this digital multimeter to determine which fuse is 12 volt constant power which fuse is 12 volt ignition power i've already determined that um, 12 volt constant is a 15 amp fuse ignition is a 10 amp fuse and i have used as mentioned these fuse taps uh, connected to my accessory feed ignition feed and my 12 volt constant feed now let me just briefly put the camera down while I insert these fuses these are what the connections look like when the fuse is inserted I'm just going to basically now go to the location on the fuse box I found my circuits at the top of the box I'm going to insert it like that and I'm going to insert it like that. Now what this allows me to do is it allows me to provide a steady connection. Again, fully reversible. You'll see these fuses sit a little bit higher than the other fuses, but as mentioned, they fit perfectly. They make a nice tight fit. They're not gonna be loose and it's completely reversible. And as mentioned, the customer will be given back these fuses. So if in the future they ever wanna take this dash camera out, they can. Uh, the last thing that you'll notice is here is my ground. I've used what's known as a self-tapping screw to drill through this metal. I've tested to make sure that this metal is chassis ground again I've done that with a digital multimeter such as this and I have basically used a drill to drill the hole with the screw first and then I've inserted the ring terminal underneath and tighten the screw down the uh, dash camera connections are all right here I've securely uh, tightened them up with tape I've double-sided taped the power management device that we're using and uh, my installation is pretty much done I'm just gonna reinsert this rubber here uh, if you or anybody you know has any questions on how to do a dash camera installation, please call us 1-866-824-4118. We will post this to our site under our dash camera section, and we hope you found this video informative. 